Uh, welcome back to Rex Paint. This is a surprise stream I did not announce, uh, but it's going to be really quick uh, because I just wanted to go over uh, some of the changes that happened after yesterday's stream. So I kind of, uh, like I said, I sat on it for a while and uh, also was able to go back to it. Uh, by the end of the day, I didn't like the original design, um, which is not unusual, but also because uh, it's really harder for me to focus on doing serious work while streaming. One of the main reasons I don't dev stream because I'd never get any good work done, I don't think. And uh, so what I did was um, <clears throat> had some new ideas on how to implement it and completely changed the whole idea. Uh, I mean, it was still uh, good to go through the entire process. It's kind of a natural thing for coming up with uh, better results. And wait a minute, let me get rid of that. So let's look at what I did. Um, just for completion's sake, I thought I'd do a really quick uh, stream here, mainly to record the video so it can go up after the other one on YouTube zoom in here. Um, so the new concept, here's what we were working on earlier, if you recall the uh, different forms there. But what I ended up with is probably going with something like this. Um, basically, kind of a new type of window, which sort of stretches, it's going to stretch all the way across, however wide. Remember, this is a 4-3 ratio. We're going to stretch all the way across the entire map. Uh, the map itself will probably uh, ideally fade out uh, for this. And uh, as you can see, this is also darker. What I did with this is use the same, because this is, these are kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of like the, the options menu and the help menus. It's kind of like a combo of those uh, where if we went over those last time. Let me see, I didn't uh, have this one ready. Um, yeah, it's like, here's the options menu. That's a good reference. Um, Wait, let me get to this so I can switch back and forth between the two. There we go. All right, so uh, yeah, so as you can see in the options menu, we've got the options that look like this, we know, and also uh, they, they have their nice little look. They have this style of headers rather than a window, but part of the reason I started even thinking of doing a different idea and the part of the reason I didn't like the original uh, concept there, uh, this window is, I don't like the idea of a floaty command window just appearing in the middle of the map, which uh, this would be kind of... Um, it'd be a first for something like this that doesn't, it's not directly associated with any object on the map, uh, uh, which is the only other reason a window might pop up on the map. And so I didn't like that, and I wanted it to appear as something slightly different uh, to reflect that different nature. And I think this also looks a little better. Now, one of the disadvantages is we don't get the uh, very clear borders at either side, which give us uh, kind of more defined columns, but you know, as we were talking about too, that's not necessarily a huge thing. Uh, you can see it either way. And so without the fact, without the extra borders here, well, we don't have to care about that. As long as these are aligned, that's good. Uh, the, the space on the left and right will be equal. And there's another advantage uh, to this redesign, which uh, when I was out not streaming, it could be focused on the, the reasoning a, a lot more and other ideas and concepts. I've realized that we don't really want two separate uh, gray message areas. You know, I was talking about how I was going to put them on different sides and whatnot. We want, uh, ideally we combine them into one because there's no reason to have two, uh, basically until you've hovered over one of these options. Um, the, you get the, the standard text here, access special commands via letter or using shift alt Z directly from, uh, shift alt A to Z uh, directly from the main UI. So normally it shows this, and then once you hover over something, then this message is replaced by the description for the special command that you're hovering over. Um, so then you only have only have need for one area there, or one bit of text. There's no reason to keep that up there. So we're going to be able to reuse it uh, for the same thing. That gives us, well, obviously it takes up less space, which is nice. Um, and also it allows us to, because I needed these split up um, because I wanted them to at least be the same color and we didn't want them next to each other because they have different meanings. And that also allows us to move all the commands up right under the special commands header. So, um, and then there's a second line here. Uh, these are my notes and the notes layer turning on there. We can have a second line as well, of course, and just random text here as usual, just, just to get that idea of what it looks like aesthetically. We don't care about the actual content now, but um, basically when you hover over description, we have a description that can be as long as two lines there. And I, what I will also do is uh, this, the left and right will also, I mean, they're not quite aligned right now, but they'll be uh, both aligned and also have a maximum length because you don't want li individual text lines that are way too long. You want to be able to uh, limit the length, which in this view doesn't really matter, but it will, view, it will matter once this 
uh, little pop-up thing stretches across the entire map for what most people play is widescreen format. Very few people use this actual format or aspect ratio. So we're going to go, uh, it'll be it'll be even wider, but we'll keep the length to about this so it looks better. But I also like the fact that, uh, you know, there's not as much, uh, uh, this, I don't like, I just didn't like the floating window. I didn't like the fact that these are, there's a lot of, could be potentially two or three lines that are a lot shorter down here. It looks cooler this way. And the actual, uh, I think the style, because of what it is, sort of matches the style that we have with the uh, the commands and options menus. So that's what uh, that's what I did with this. Um, and I yeah, the, the one thing that's kind of odd about it, I think, well, I'll have to see how this looks in the actual game itself. But there's the fact that uh, the X to close the window would probably end up being way off by the edge. Which I don't think will be a huge idea, a huge issue because uh, I mean most people will end up. You can use escape or space again to exit, uh, but it'll still be there if people need it. Uh, we'll see how that looks. I haven't decided on how, on what to do about that yet, but I didn't really want it like out over here in the middle. That that's even weirder. So that's one. Of, this is the main exception because this kind of style doesn't uh, uh, window edge doesn't exist uh, elsewhere in the game, but it's kind of a minor point. Uh, I kind of, I tend to mostly ignore the little X in terms of design and that it's just, it's there. It tries to be not super obvious um, and and uh, we'll see how it turns out. But uh, yeah, some of these, th some things might get a few more tweaks during implementation. But overall, I like this uh, particular approach better than what we worked on yesterday. So yeah, so this would probably be the one that I'm going to uh, implement uh, soon. And yeah, well, that's about it, uh, for the stream. That's, uh, unless anyone has questions or other things I wanted to mention, but yeah, I just wanted to do a really quick stream, short video to, uh, follow up the other one, uh, mainly cause I'm going to upload the other one to YouTube, but then, uh, figured it would make sense to also show a bit more about what I did after the stream. Um, I just sat on it all day and then in the evening, right before I went to bed, actually, so I, I said, oh, let me look really quick at that again and see if there's another way to look at it. And I kind of like this this approach better. Um, and it'll, it'll also have a little bit of animation, probably more or less the same kind of animation that we get with the options menu thing where this flashes in and the, the line goes out. That'll happen quickly. And again, it'll only happen, uh, it'll still accept input before that. So you can, you don't have to wait for an animation or anything, but it's always nice to have stuff that's animated. That and also I had forgotten to talk yesterday about kind of like feedback. Um, but I mean, that goes without saying really uh, that you see sound effects and uh, mouse over uh, highlight type feedbacks with anything you're interacting with, which is always really important in a in a good interface to get that kind of feedback. But there won't be any um, differences in that regard. It's going to work the same as all the others. So not much to really mention there. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So uh, yeah, I'll be streaming Cogmine probably next week. And now I'm going to get off to uh, implementing this window.